Hey, this is a quick test. Um, I've only let, been letting the top silicone cure for a couple days. Uh, maybe I should kind of repeat what the test is. I know the people following the forums know, but just in case. Um, okay, so the new silicone that I found that sticks to acrylic really well is this um, GE 100% silicone sealant. I have that in the middle. Then I have uh, GE2 kitchen, bath, and plumbing, and then I have uh, GE2 basement. And on top of it, I put that GE 100% silicone on top of it. This is a test to see how well the silicone sticks to a silicone. Um, the old adhesive information on the internet is that silicone does not stick to silicone. Well, that's fine, but um, I do know we have been making lots of leaps and bounds in adhesives. So I just decided to do this little test. I've only let the silicone on top cure for two days. The silicone on bottom has cured for over a week. So just to simulate, basically you throw it on there, let it cure for a couple days and whatnot. Um, I have no idea how well this is going to work. Let's find out. Um, again, all the silicone that is on top is the same 100% silicone. Being that that, uses, that works really well in acrylic, I'm just going to use it as my permanent uh, silicone for now on till I find something better. So I wanted to test it to see how well it st sticks to silicone, um, including itself. So um, let's begin here. Do a little flick. Okay, it's actually now a hard flick. Okay. If you guys can see that. The silicone has actually bonded to the other silicone. Again, the bottom bead dried for over a week, for over seven days. The top bead has only been on here for less than, well, two days, uh, roughly two days, um, to give or take a few hours. So this silicone has completely, if you guys can see that it's bonded it's bonded completely through I can't pull it off oh I can there we go there we go and I'm getting it <sighs> okay um okay looks like if I pull get really in there <sighs> I can rip it off Okay, so test one with GE2 basement, window door and attic, silicone. It bonded um, to the edges. You can actually see where it actually bonded into the silicone. My guess is that if I were to actually smear the bead on there, not just because I just, I didn't apply any pressure when I laid the bead. Um, I just merely took it and dripped it across. Um, my guess is that if I were to pressure it down on there, it would have been a lot harder to get off. Um, okay, so next one is the 100% sealant on the top of the 100% sealant. So let's see what we got going on there. Okay, zoom in here first. Okay. That's... Uh, Pretty good seal. It won't flick off. Okay, go back to peeling. Okay, pinch and pull. <sighs> Came off, but it broke. Come on, zoom in here. There we go. All right, so you can see where it tried to bond. The silicone is really good silicone. I am very, very impressed with this. Let's see if I can. 
get a good view of this area here. Okay. I'm going to try and pull all this off. What I'm going to do is my next one, I'm actually going to take my finger and smear the silicone on when I lay the, lay the bead. Basically what you would pretty much be doing in an aquarium. So far, the test is relatively pleasing. I'm just trying. Pleased with the result, I should say. Pull the rest of it. You guys can see that it's almost hard to tell where the silicone, the new silicone, ends and the old silicone begins. You can see when I leave it loose like that, but when you pull the bond, it's nice and chemically strong. I'm not gonna. Nope, oh, there we go. That broke again. All right, let's try and pull the rest of this off. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. And okay. So, got it off there. Um, this is not coming off easy at all. The, I mean, as you can see, it's stretching and breaking. I, I just, I, the, with the current test, it's completely blown out of the water that you cannot silicone silicone. Um, at least not with this adhesive silicone, um, the 100% silicone sealant. So right now, this is blown out of the water. Uh, the old myth that you cannot silicone silicone, that would definitely hold. I mean, you guys saw what I was doing with this GE2 silicone in my previous video where I had it attached to acrylic. This is glass, but where I had this attached to acrylic and I was just flicking it with my thumb and it was peeling right off. Um, people use that still for acrylic because they didn't know any better. Um, and it, it, it holds because, you know, water pressure and all that good stuff. So when it comes down to it, this, this, this just blew that out of the water. You can definitely silicone silicone. So... And mind you, I only let this cure for a couple days. Let's go to the bath and plumbing. Okay, I got a little piece off there. Okay, it broke again. This one's coming off a little easier, though. Okay, this one came off a little cleaner. The, um... Gosh, the silicone is just shit silicone, man. I silicone for kitchen bath and plumbing I, I just would never use it never buy this just this is just a horrible product absolutely horrible product of course it sticks to glass okay but they all do can't get these off glass to save your life anyway um well there we have it I mean they came off it, it did break off. It wasn't like, you know, it's not as stuck on there like it is to the glass. You know, this is going to have to be sheared off with a, or shaved off with a razor or something. Whereas, you know, I was able to pull the silicone off the top of it. But, um, you know, take into account that, number one, I didn't smear this on. Number two, had this been smeared on and touching the glass, it would have been super anchored to the glass and still anchored to the silicone. Um, and number three, I it wasn't it didn't just fall off. I had I had to yank on it, I had to pull it, and I you know and it, it, I had to tear it off. Um, so another I would say successful test with the silicone, um, GE hundred percent silicone sealant. I'll go ahead and grab the bottle. There she is right there. So, yeah, guys, this will work for silicone, uh, silicone to silicone. Um, if you guys have any requests for any other tests, you know, let me know. Um, anything you want me to try out or put, you know, just, just really any, any suggestions or anything, just uh, give me a heads up and I will run a test on it. But, um, guys, this silicone is... Outstanding adhesive, 
adhesion. Outstanding adhesion. I should learn how to read, huh? Yeah, this this is the silicone to get. And as I just showed, if you needed, you were in a pinch and you didn't feel like redoing a whole tank, you could easily, easily get away with siliconing silicone. Uh, with the silicone. It's not as strong as it is to just straight up the glass, but if you were ever in a situation where you needed to get it done, no problem. This would definitely do it. So, and for example, my tank here, the silicone that was on it was peeling off, so instead of, instead of redoing the entire tank, the entire tank from one end to the other, I just um, cut from there to there and did that whole seam with the new silicone. Okay, but then the old silicone on the very corner ends by the baffles, um, I just siliconed over top of it. And in a situation like that, it has this thing has had water in it for um, several days now and hasn't lost any water. No, nothing's leaking. Nothing's, no issues whatsoever. And as I just showed, that silicone's gonna stick to the other silicone. Um, and something like water, fish, and dorking around isn't gonna pull it off. If, if you wanna pull that silicone off, you are gonna have to want the silicone to be removed. So, yeah guys, um, I, I think another good test. Let me know what you think, and if you got any ideas or something you want me to check out, let me know. Thanks. Bye.